This is Russia, a nation with a deep history and culture. In this video, we'll explore some of the most remarkable projects in the country, from the tallest skyscraper in Europe to the longest underwater tunnel. If you're curious about the latest advancements in Russian engineering, stay tuned. Number 13. Kremlin Palace of Congresses. This massive convention center, the largest in Russia, was completed in Moscow in 2021. With a seating capacity of up to 6,000 people, it hosts a variety of events, including political conferences, concerts, and trade expos. The Kremlin Palace of Congresses is a striking example of modern architecture, located in the heart of Moscow, just a short walk from the Kremlin. The structure, made of glass and steel, features a distinctive curved roof. Inside, the palace is just as impressive, spacious, well-lit, and equipped with a range of amenities. As a key landmark in Moscow, the Kremlin Palace of Congresses is a prime destination for large-scale events. Number 12. Moscow-Kazan High-Speed Railway. Completed in 2019, this is Russia's fastest railway line, reducing travel time between Moscow and Kazan to just 3 hours and 20 minutes. The Moscow-Kazan High-Speed Railway stands as a major engineering achievement, spanning over 770 kilometers and constructed in less than 6 years. Capable of reaching speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour, it ranks among the world's fastest rail networks. This railway brings significant economic benefits to Russia, helping attract tourists and businesses while also reducing congestion on existing train routes. Number 11. Vladivostok International Airport Opened in 2012, this airport is the largest in Russia's Far East, serving both passenger and cargo flights. Vladivostok International Airport is a crucial air transport hub for the region, situated just outside the city. It is the only international airport in the area, handling up to 12 million passengers per year. The airport features modern facilities, including a passenger terminal, a cargo terminal, and a 3,500-meter-long runway. This airport plays a key role in Russia's economy, expected to draw more tourists and businesses to the region. Number 10. Crimean Bridge Connecting the Crimean Peninsula to mainland Russia, this bridge was completed in 2018 and spans the Kerch Strait. The Crimean Bridge is an impressive engineering feat, stretching over 19 kilometers and built in just four years. It significantly boosts Russia's economy by facilitating travel and trade. The bridge is expected to attract more visitors and businesses to Crimea, while also easing traffic on existing routes. Number 9. Northern Latitudinal Railway Completed in 2019, the Northern Latitudinal Railway is the longest railway line in Russia, spanning nearly 10,000 kilometers. It connects the Arctic port city of Murmansk in the northwest with Vladivostok on the Pacific coast. This railway serves as a vital transportation link, playing a crucial role in Russia's economic and logistical network. The railway is expected to provide a significant economic boost by facilitating trade, tourism, and industry in both the Arctic and Pacific regions. It allows easier movement of goods and people across vast distances, while also reducing congestion on existing highways. The Northern Latitudinal Railway is particularly important for the energy sector, as it enables the transportation of resources like oil, gas, and minerals from Russia's Arctic deposits to markets in Asia and Europe. Number 8. Yamal LNG Plant the Yamal LNG or liquefied natural gas plant is one of Russia's most significant energy projects and the largest LNG facility in the world. Built in 2017, it is located in Sibeta, on the Yamal Peninsula, a remote Arctic region known for its vast natural gas reserves. The plant is a joint venture between Gazprom, Novatech, and Total, with a total capacity of 16.5 million tons of LNG per year. This plant is a key revenue source for Russia, strengthening its position in the global energy market. The Yamal LNG project also plays a strategic role in Arctic development, creating thousands of jobs and improving infrastructure in the region. With its specialized ice-class LNG tankers, the facility is capable of exporting natural gas year-round, even in extreme Arctic conditions. This project is also a critical part of Russia's pivot towards Asia as many of its LNG exports are destined for China, Japan, and South Korea. Number 7. Power of Siberia Gas Pipeline The Power of Siberia Gas Pipeline is the longest gas pipeline in the world, stretching over 4,000 kilometers. Officially launched in 2019, it connects Russia's eastern gas fields with China, supplying up to 38 billion cubic meters of natural gas per year. 
This massive project is part of a 30-year energy deal between Russia's Gazprom and China's CNPC, valued at $400 billion. This pipeline is critical for both Russia and China. For Russia, it provides a reliable and long-term customer for its vast natural gas reserves in Siberia. For China, it diversifies its energy imports and reduces dependence on coal, helping the country achieve its clean energy goals. The power of Siberia also strengthens Russia-China relations, shifting Russia's energy exports away from Europe and toward Asia's growing markets. Number 6. Amur Gas Chemical Complex The Amur Gas Chemical Complex is a mega-industrial project currently under construction in Amur Oblast, Russia. Scheduled for completion in 2024, this complex will be one of the largest gas processing and petrochemical facilities in the world. The Amur complex is designed to process natural gas from eastern Siberia, converting it into valuable chemical products such as polyethylene and polypropylene, which are used in manufacturing plastics, textiles, and packaging materials. The facility will also play a key role in Russia's growing trade relationship with China, as many of its products are expected to be exported to Asia-Pacific markets. Beyond its economic impact, the Amur Gas Chemical Complex is part of Russia's broader energy strategy, ensuring that its vast natural gas resources are used not just for export, but also for developing high-value chemical industries. This project is also expected to create thousands of jobs and contribute to the economic growth of Russia's Far East. Number 5. Arctic LNG-2 Plant The Arctic LNG-2 Plant is a liquefied natural gas facility currently under construction in Sibeta, Yamal Peninsula, Russia. Once fully operational, the plant will have an annual capacity of 19.8 million tons of LNG, making it a key player in Russia's growing liquefied natural gas sector. This project is part of Russia's broader strategy to expand its natural gas exports, especially to Asia and Europe, where demand for LNG continues to rise. The Arctic LNG-2 plant is expected to create thousands of jobs in various sectors, including construction, logistics, and operations. It will also improve infrastructure in the Arctic region, facilitating future energy projects and increasing Russia's influence in the global energy market. Number 4. Skolkovo Innovation Center The Skolkovo Innovation Center, launched in Moscow in 2010, serves as Russia's premier technology hub, designed to foster cutting-edge research and development. This high-tech ecosystem is home to numerous technology startups, research institutions, and multinational corporations all working together to drive innovation. Often referred to as Russia's Silicon Valley, Skolkovo is dedicated to advancing sectors such as artificial intelligence, biotechnology, clean energy, and space exploration. It has already attracted billions of dollars in investment, both from the Russian government and international companies looking to collaborate with local talent. Number three, National Technology Cluster. The National Technology Cluster is a major high-tech development currently under construction in Skolkovo, Moscow. It is expected to be completed by 2024 and will serve as a center for technological advancement, entrepreneurship, and industrial innovation. Spanning an impressive 400 hectares, the cluster will house office buildings, research laboratories, advanced manufacturing facilities, and even a university dedicated to technology and engineering. The Russian government envisions it as a major driver of economic diversification, shifting the country's focus from resource-based industries to high-tech sectors. This ambitious project comes with an estimated cost of $10 billion and is designed to attract international investors looking for opportunities in Russia's growing technology and research sectors. By offering incentives such as tax breaks, funding opportunities, and access to world-class infrastructure, the government aims to boost local startups and lure global tech giants. The National Technology Cluster is also expected to generate thousands of highly skilled jobs, further solidifying Moscow as a global technology powerhouse. Apart from economic benefits, the project is expected to create thousands of jobs, both directly in construction and indirectly in hospitality retail and services along the railway corridor. It will also serve as a model for future high-speed rail networks in Russia, potentially connecting other major cities in the future. Next-Generation Nuclear Power Plants Russia is developing multiple next-generation nuclear power reactors, set to be completed in the coming years. These advanced plants will be safer and more efficient compared to the existing ones. Russia has a promising future, and its ambitious projects highlight its engineering prowess.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more content on Russia and its groundbreaking developments. Also, feel free to leave a comment with your suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching.